Hi everyone, Saren Uwe here, and today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to pull information and item IDs from Wowhead into a TSM group for you nice and easily. If you're not aware of what TSM is, um, TradeSkill Master is an auction house tool that you can use in World of Warcraft that allows you to create your own base groups and operations, so you can set dynamic pricing structures, etc. If it's something that you're not uh, familiar with and it's something that you want to try out, I do recommend Samadan Wow's Trade Skill Master Guides on uh, how to actually set up the base groups, how to set up the add-on and um, all of the thinking behind it. Part of today's tutorial is to uh, allow you to create your own base groups nice and easily. Trade Skill Master does have a group making uh, portion on its website, however, you do have to copy and paste each Wowhead URL individually, which can be a little bit laborious. So what I've done is I've created a, a Google Sheet um, that will allow you to um, paste URLs in there and create an item ID group automatically. But I do use an add-on called Data Miner, which allows you to actually pull that information in a lot more quickly than it would be copying and pasting each URL individually. So you're going to need three things. You're going to need a Google account, you're going to need Google Chrome, and you're going to need... So if you've got all of those, we'll just move on to the next steps, and I'll show you how to actually get the information that you need so you can speed up all of this group making, uh, particularly with Shadowlands Alpha coming out as well. So if you head on over to data-miner.io, um, there's a Add to Chrome, it's free uh, section on the homepage. If you click through that and sign up for the account when it actually comes up using a Google account, you'll then get a nice little add-on here uh, on your Google Chrome. Now, once you've got all of that installed, what you'll need to do is you'll have to go over to Wowhead, and what we'll do is we'll look at something like um, items in the database, and we'll look at uh, mounts, for example. So I'm just gonna have a little look at all of the mounts here. So as you can see, there's a list of all of the mounts that are currently in the game, as well as uh, mounts that aren't actually accessible in the game as well. So we actually need to apply filters. Now, I recommend doing uh, two main filters. Those tend to be available to players, yes, and bind on pickup, no. This removes any of the items that are from boss drops that can't be traded or can't be sold. We're ultimately trying to create a list of uh, items that we can actually buy or sell on the auction house. Currently with the Shadowlands Alpha, there is the option to exclude results from the, the new beta for the new patches. So I would get it, uh, rid of that as well by ticking that. So if we just click apply filter, you'll see that it goes from 808 down to 50. So now we've got the filters applied, we've got the uh, the 50 list, we want to basically start getting each of these individual URLs that are behind each of these items, so that we can actually get the item ID number that you can see highlighted in the bottom left there, the item equals 153594. That's the number that we're interested in. So, what you need to do is you need to open up Data Miner. If you've already set it up, which is fantastic, you should have a new recipe uh, button here at the top. I've predetermined um, or pre-created a, um, a, a scraper already for this, but if you just click new recipe, I'll show you how I've actually done that. So anyone who's worked with data will know that data is generally stored in columns and rows, column being certain items, and then the rows being the list of those items. Now, we just want to keep list page selected, and then we want to basically then move on to rows. Now, if you click find, you'll see that it gives you two instructions here. Hover your mouse over an element and hit the shift button on your keyboard. So we basically want to have a little look at each of the individual elements on the page. You can see that it starts highlighting them. The one that we're actually interested in is this name here. So I move my mouse over, I haven't actually clicked anything, but I'm just going to press the shift key and you can see that it adds the yellow dotted lines around the, the item. So it then brings up these unique identifiers. The main ones that we're interested in is list view, clear text, and A. Now these are the, um, the predetermined IDs that each of, the, um, each of the elements on the page actually have. So it now highlights that all of the information will be in green, will be stored into our data miner. So if you click confirm, and then move on to columns. We want to create two columns. We're ultra ultimately interested in the name, and that will be the text. And then we want to add a new column, 
which will be the URL. And the URL for that is literally in the extract is URL. So now we've got those two, we want to basically then say we want to do nav, which we don't. We don't really need to, to, um, to implement at the moment with Wowhead. One other op uh, option that we have is uh, JavaScript. Um, again, it's something that we don't actually need to do anything with. So you can just move on to the, uh, onto the next step. And you basically just want to click, uh, want to click save. Now I called uh, our item the Wowhead ID scraper, um, which is something that you can just call it yourself. Um, if you're going to create lots of little um, scraping items like this, you can give it a, a little bit of a description. So um, ways to scrape um, IDs from um, from Wowhead, and then you can basically um, keep all of this exactly the same and you can just basically click run recipe um, or save it if you want to. When you actually click run, um, you'll basically get a list of items like this. Now this is the name of the item and then the wowhead URL, exactly like we said, um, we, you know, these naming conventions would actually be. So what you need to then go ahead and do is you just need to go and click download and I just recommend doing copy to clipboard. Uh, clipboard. Now you've got your information copied to your clipboard, what you need to do now is go over to the um, Google Sheet URL that's in the description of the video, open up the, uh, the URL and you'll get this uh, Google Sheets view. Um, first thing I recommend is going to File and making a copy of this file because it's currently going to be in a, a non-edit mode. So if you make a copy of this and save it into your own Google account, what you can then do is you can then effectively um, paste your data um, from data miner into this version of the sheet without overwriting my copy effectively. So what I would recommend doing is just clicking on A1 and then right clicking and then go and paste special, paste values only. And what it's done is it's basically taken the data from data miner, Swift Spring Strider, it's got the URL and then it's basically taken each of the IDs out of the um, out of the URL. So that's a list of all of our IDs that we needed there. So in total, we've got 50. And what it's got is it's got a very nice little import string there that you can just copy and paste. So with that, you can then go into TSM and paste that into um, the groups. Again, I do recommend um, using Sam Dan's um, import uh, script YouTube video. I'll put a link to that uh, in the description as well. Um, but yeah, this is just a nice little simple tutorial on how to get a list of the IDs from URLs that you want. You can just do that with any URL on uh, on Wowhead or any data set on Wowhead. Um, but any issues, any anything that you need, just follow the links in the Google Sheet. Um, I'm contactable mostly on Twitter. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's been useful. Um, if you, you know, you do find any issues, leave a comment in the video um, down below. Um, but please like and subscribe the video. I'm tr planning on doing a couple more of them, these sort of how-to videos. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, um, stay safe and, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.